About one year ago, my Etsy shop got deactivated out of the blue. I was preparing for new shop listings, logged into my account, and saw these messages. So I documented it all. Four months later, my shop was reactivated, but I still had unanswered questions, and I already made up my mind on where my business was going, even though I was terrified for my future and career. Now let's fast forward a year. Our guest this week is Amy from Amy Makes That. Hi, Amy. Your life will feel like a roller coaster sometimes, making every day feel like you're powerful, but some feeling so lost. The point of this video is to show how much your life can change in just one year. So this is my story. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Amy Makes That. My name is Amy and as you can see from the beginning, today's video is a final update on my Etsy shop. Let's not waste time and get into the video. So if you need some catching up and are confused as to why I'm making this video in the first place, I have both of these videos that you should watch, including the beginning of how my Etsy shop got deactivated and when it got reactivated, it'll clear up some of the timeline. So now let's give a recap of what happened this this past year since Etsy deactivated my shop. Well, I kind of showed you a little peek of it in the beginning, but a lot has happened actually. I completely switched and rebranded from being a small business owner to now I am an entrepreneur, but I strictly educate and teach people now. I changed my name. That is now my DBA and my actual business name now, Amy Makes That. I changed that on all of my social media platforms and I made a website. I have an email newsletter now and I took my social media much more seriously. So I went from 8,000 followers on TikTok to over a hundred thousand followers when your gut tells you to do something you do it something was just telling me start posting more post every single day and i did post on my instagram story i think sometime around the beginning of last year that i deleted my etsy shop when it was reactivated and it was the best feeling ever. I just said good riddance to Etsy and this is a new chapter of mine. So it definitely was a good choice that I decided to leave Etsy. The top three questions that I have received so far from filming that Etsy video are, why did your shop get deactivated? Have you heard from Etsy ever since? And do you have a shop now? So I do not have a shop currently at the moment yet. The second question, have you heard from Etsy? Would you like to take a guess? I have not heard from Etsy. They never notified me when it was reactivated. I have heard absolutely zero from them, which kind of answers the big question that everyone has been dying to know, which is why did your shop get deactivated? This whole situation is just so crazy to me. So no, I haven't heard from Etsy and I still don't know why my shop is deactivated. So I'm just going with the impression that it was a glitch or something because they reactivated my account four months later. So the message that I want to address to everyone is a lot can happen in a year. You might be questioning why are certain things happening to me? Just know that everything happens for a reason. If I never started my Etsy shop or started my small business venture, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't have had this successful of a YouTube channel maybe. I have the choice to sit here and say, well, Etsy screwed me over and I hate my life. Or I can sit here and say no that happened for a reason because now I'm here today There's always a blessing always a hidden message behind that and you might not know what that message is until a year later, just like me. I really have to owe it to all of you. I express my gratitude in every video of mine, but I need to stand here and say thank you for you all believing in me, supporting me in my new rebrand. This will be my last Etsy shop video unless they reach out to me, but I don't think that's going to happen. So this will be the last and final video. So again, if you haven't watched my two Etsy shop videos, definitely watch those to get caught up on that. Again, I also have a lot of funny TikToks and I do have an Instagram highlight called my Etsy story. If you don't follow me on those platforms, definitely do. I'm happy to say that I can actually make fun of the situation now and kind of laugh and look back at it and not be 
as hurt as I was a year ago. So thank you again for watching this video. Please share this video with anyone that you know that is looking to start a craft business, maybe already has an Etsy shop. I just want the whole world to understand what has happened to me. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Cricut content. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!